We're recording now. Okay. So today we're going to work on uh, some more polygons, but we're going to use the formula from last class to review in one and two. And that formula for the sum of the interior angles, so what do they all add up to? Okay, what are all of the angles in an octagon? All of the angles in an octagon. That formula is n minus 2 times 180. A couple of things. That n minus 2 is the number of what in the polygon? Triangles. Is the number of triangles, yes. Okay, and n represents the number of sides. Okay, so that n minus 2, remember a pentagon of five sides has three triangles in the interior. A heptagon has seven sides, so it have five triangles in the interior. So in number one, it says if the sum of the angles of a polygon is 2,520, how many sides does the polygon have? So you're looking for how many sides we are going to solve for n. Okay, we know they all add up to 2,520. So that equals, since I don't know what n is, we actually have to write the formula n minus 2 times 180. Now to solve for n, what would be the first step that you would do to get n by itself? Which operation would you undo? Would you undo the multiplication first or the subtraction first? Colton? I was thinking maybe the subtraction. No. When you go back to order of op, you always want to add or subtract last or undo that last. So we're going to undo the division first. So divide by 180. Those would cancel. Divide by 180. And what is 2,520 divided by 180? So 14 equals the n minus 2. Now we're going to undo that subtraction with addition. So our number of sides is 16. How many sides does it have? It has 16 sides. So last class, we were finding the interior angle sum. Now, given the interior angle sum, we're finding the number of sides. Number two, if the sum of the interior angles of a polygon is 5,040, then the polygon has how many sides? Same idea. Okay, we know they all add up to 5,040. So that equals n minus 2 times 180 because we're looking for how many sides again. So we're going to solve for n. Divide by 180. So the same pro uh, process to isolate n is the same. Divide both sides by 180 first and then add 2 to go backwards. 5,040 divided by uh, 180 is 28. Then add the 2 to get n by itself. And n equals 30. So there are 30 sides. Record. All right, so now we're going to look at each interior angle of a polygon. So each means... 1. So if you start out with that little table you made, or I made at the back of the warm-up with three sides, four sides, five sides. Okay, so let's actually pause and do that. So three sides was 180. We'll just do a few. Four sides, we'll go up to hexagon. Five sides, 540. And then six sides was 720. Right? That's what they all add up to. So if I just take a look at the hexagon, right? Six sides. I want to find, I know they all add up to 720, but how do I find just one of them? What would be the process? 
if you know they all divide it by divide it by six so when you want to find each of them because if it's regular they're all the same so if you want to find each you're finding one of them so you just divide the interangle sum by six or you would take if you want to find each interangle of a pentagon you would take 540 and divide by five okay so the formula you get this 540 by doing n minus 2 times 180 okay so just be over the number of sides that it has so going back to the page the formula for each is going to be the n minus 2 times 180 because we're still working interior over n so you have to divide let's just make a note off to the side to make it real easy you divide by the number of interior angles okay so for the first one okay note it says regular they all have to be the same because if they all were different you couldn't find the measure of one so that means they're all angles I'm going to use the congruent symbol. All angles are the same. All right, the first one. Find the number of sides. Okay, so we're looking for n. Find n of a regular polygon whose interior angles each measure 160. So that means n minus 2 times 180 over n, that's the each part, is going to be equal to 168. And let's just set up 4. Okay? It's the same, and then we'll go back and we'll solve each. So find the number of sides. So this is saying find n. Number of sides is n. Of a regular polygon whose interior angles each means we have to do the n minus 2 times 180 over n equals 171. So we'll solve the one on the left together, and then I'll have you solve the one on the right. Both equations are almost a proportion. And if you have a proportion, you can just cross multiply. You guys like to do your cross products. So let's, let's put this over 1 and do our cross product. So n times 168 would be 168n. 1 times n minus 2 times 180 is n minus 2 times 180. We have to distribute on this side. One eighty times n is one eighty n. One eighty times two is three sixty. You want all the ends on the same side of the equation. So once you distribute, we're going to have to subtract one hundred eighty n from both sides to combine the one eighty n with the one sixty eight n. So one sixty eight n minus one eighty n. Do anyone know the difference between 168 and 180? 12. 12, good. It's going to be negative because we, the larger number is negative. So negative 12n equals negative 360, which is good because we want to end up with a positive. And it's negative divided by a negative that will give you positive. So n equals... Do 36 divided by 12, which is 3, and then add your 0 as a little trick. So what the answer is going to be 30 sides. So take a minute to solve 4, and then I'll put it up on the board. Try to follow the same process. In this cross product, n times 171 is 171n. 
And then 1 times n minus 2 times 180 would be n minus 2 times 180. Because 1 times anything is itself. But you have to remember to distribute the 180 through. So 180 times n is 180n minus 360. Subtract the 180 n, so you have all your like terms on the one side. And we get what here? Good. Negative 9, which is good. So when we divide this negative 360 by negative 9, we end up with a positive number of sides. If you end up with a negative number of sides, it means you did something wrong. Right. On the back side, okay. We're going to find the value of a. So we have some algebra now. Okay? We know that when you add all of the exterior angles, what did we say that you get? Always. No matter for a nonagon, for a dodecagon, a heptagon, it's always 360. So that'll make it easier. You just want, if you have a highlighter, highlight the word exterior. You have to see exterior in the question, and then let's just do some combining like terms out loud. So we have 2a, because it's outside, plus 7a is how many? 9a. Plus 2a? 11. Plus 3? 14. Plus 6. So we have 20a. Once again, there's none in the interior, they're all in the exterior, so they add up to 360. Divide by 20, and a is? 36 divided by 2, 18, the zeros cancel, A is 18. What about for the quadrilateral to the right? So this, if you want to label, this was a pentagon, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is a quadrilateral. As we just said, doesn't matter what the polygon is, all exterior angles always add up to 360. So let's combine all the x's. We have 6x's and then 8x's. So we have 14x's plus, I'm just combining like terms aloud, if I combine all the numbers, we've got 80 and 65. What's that? One, not 135, but 8 and 6 is 14, so 145. 145 and 5 is 150 equals 360. Subtract 150. That's going to cancel. We end up with 4x equals, well, it's all nicely lined up. 0 minus 0 is 0. 6 minus 5 is 1. Yep. Yeah. 210. Now divide by 14. Good. And x is 15. And the finish is just the um, each part. If you want to find each, you divide by the number of exterior angles. Well, if it has six interior angles, how many exterior angles will it have? Six. If it has eight interior angles, how many exterior angles? Eight. If it has 12 interior angles, it has 12 exterior. So to find each, we always divide by the number of sides it has because that's going to match the interior angles and the exterior. Okay? So find the measure of each of a regular hexagon. Keyword, exterior. So that's going to be 360 divided by hexagon 6. Find the measure of each exterior of a dodecagon. A dodecagon has how many? 12. Final answers for each, 360 over 6 is 60, and 360 over 12 is 30. That's how you find what each one would be in the outside. Okay, and the last one is the same formula, except for this time, find the number of sides. We're going to solve for n. Find the number of sides. So this is find n of a regular polygon whose exterior angles each 
measure 72. So 72 equals 360 over what? Find the number of sides of a regular polygon whose exterior angles each measure 45. So we did 45. We, did, we got that by taking 360 and divided by what? Yep, so now we have to solve for n. Another way to do it too, um, if you notice, if you put this over 1 and multiply your cross product, so 360 equals 72 times n and divide by 72. You'd really just need to take 360 and divide by the angle, and that'll tell you how many sides. So 360 divided by 72 is, so this is a pentagon. Didn't say to name it. So if we take 360 divided by 45, we get, so an octagon. You almost row octagons. It said find the number of sides. Easy. In number 13, find the value of x. Are they interior or exterior? Okay, so for a hexagon, and you may be able to memorize this. For a hexagon, what's the interior angle sum? What do all these angles add up to inside? Triangles 180, quadrilateral 360, keep adding 180, pentagon 540, hexagon. 720. Okay, so let's combine all our x's in the picture. We've got 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 8 is 17, 18, 19, 20, 20 x's. You take a minute either with your calculator or in your head, add up all the numbers. What do you get for a sum for all of the numbers? You got 22? What did someone else get? Let's start with the positives. Um, positive 1 plus 1 is 2 plus 32. What's that? 34. Now 34 minus 4 is 30 minus 3. 27 minus 7? 20. That interior angle sum is equal to 720. Subtract the 20, we get 700. Divide 700 by 20. And find the value of x, we can just stop there. 700 divided by 20. Well, you can take off your 0. And what's 70 divided by 2? 35. Little trick when you're dividing with the number of zeros. And then the last one, find the value of x. What do all four of those angles add up to? It's a quadrilateral. 360. So we have 3x and x, which is 4x. What's this angle measure? 90. 90. So 90 and 90 is 180 equals 360. Subtract 180, divide by 4, and what do we get for x? Well, 4 times 4 is 16. Good. 45.